Well, it took a pretty long trek to get here, but finally, after a few days in Timberwolf Mountain, we have reached real civilization, right? It's just a farmhouse, but within this farmhouse, we should hopefully be able to thrive. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. We've also survived for three whole days, and today is gonna be a big looting day, as I'm gonna be searching every single nook and cranny inside this farmstead. But before we do that, I gotta go drop off some supplies because we are overloaded. So I'm gonna leave a big pile of supplies, I would say just right here with the burnt out torch, and then we can loot no problems. I'm gonna sort through it a little bit better in the future, but for now, it'll have to do. So yeah, let's begin looting around here while my torch actually burns. Let's keep our eyes peeled for some good stuff, like some mittens already, in which I can immediately wear to give me better resistance. On top of that, we have another book, some Summit Soda, even more books and literature that I can use to burn down. A tin of coffee, which is actually huge. Oh my god. Yeah, with that, I'll be able to drink it before I head out for, you know, like, exploration. And I will be able to get a very nice bonus in terms of sleepiness and warmth. So that's huge. Uh, that's gonna be it for these two rooms, though. So let's go saunter ourselves all the way down towards the kitchen next. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm grabbing quite literally everything because this game does like hiding some materials away from you. Okay, yeah, we got everything. Up next, it's the kitchen, in which it has some peaches, a can opener, which is huge for efficiency reasons, a cooking pot, which just immediately boosts my cooking ability, cooking oil, some lighter fluid, a note left behind, which describes a little cooking recipe. I have no idea if that's actually helpful, but I'll take it. And I spy with my little eye some maple syrup hidden behind a dang bench. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about when it comes to, like, how hidden stuff can be in this game, man. It is insane how hard you have to look for some very good supplies. We got flour as well. We also got an extra can of food. And a sewing kit, which is gonna be it for this kitchen here. Not a lot of food stuff, but, you know, I'll take anything at this point. Within the bathroom, we have nothing. 8.1 liters of water, which I'll just leave in there. No medical supplies, and that's gonna be it for this lower floor. I'm gonna go loot the second story, hit up the basement, and then we're gonna be sleeping for like 10 hours. Matter of fact, I'm gonna loot the basement first. And this is where the torch really comes in handy, because this place is extremely dark and it'd be very easy to miss, you know, a small object around here. For now, though, we got ourselves a whetstone, a potato sack filled with potatoes. Ho ho ho! Not bad, not bad. There's also some antiseptic, a replacement fuse, which I have no idea what the use is for. We have wires, a carrot, and finally, a ragged sweatshirt. There is one locker I can't open up right now, but I don't have a pry bar for it, so I think that's everything. Overall, I was really hoping for maybe like a magnifying glass or something like that, but you know, beggars really can't be choosers. I'm gonna go head upstairs now, and we are gonna go check out the last and final story. So let's see what kind of stuff they have up here. We have ketchup chips, a hockey jersey and a ragged hoodie. And I'm gonna stop things here actually, because we are running very low on torches. And I think right now, I want to start up a new fire so I can make even more torches. So I'm gonna head back down. I'm gonna go pick up some sticks and we're gonna do just that and maybe boil up some food as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it's the last thing I want to do is to waste even more matches trying to fuel up a fire and get more torches, right? So I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of sticks, a piece of cedar firewood, and finally a full cooking pot of boiling water. Bada boom. 
And with that, I'm gonna add in one more piece, and I'm gonna take a couple of torches from it. There it is. Okay, cool. That's gonna be going for a while. Let's go look around a little bit more. Anyways, we have a sewing kit book, even more toilet water. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit terrifying. Okay, it looks like an Aurora Borealis hit while I was looting midway through. So that means all of the technology around the area actually works now. It's it's really, really jarring to hear, but that's not going to stop me from looting. But I do find it very, very cool and a little bit eerie, you know, that it just turns on randomly. We got nothing else inside this bedroom here, leaving one more room for me to go check out. Damn, there's actually a lot of lights going on in here. We got nothing cool here. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go get some more torches for future use, and I am gonna sleep for probably 10 hours. So yeah, I will see all of you tomorrow. Alrighty, we have survived for two days, 13 hours, and just about 56 minutes. And we have slept for about 10 full hours, living up to the next day. As you see, our condition bar is looking very good, and while I was waiting out the storm, I also went ahead and organized my stash a little bit, right? So we have our food in here, in the corner, with all of our cattail stalks. We have a couple of books, our fresh guts and rabbit pelts, our firewood, our fire starters, and yeah, that's really it. Our water has been boiled as well, giving me another two liters. And yeah, no, I've, I've been doing quite the bit of uh, organization. We also have our leftover clothing right over here. I don't know if there's anything else within this place that I really need to loot, aside from the sports vest. But I think we got it pretty, pretty well. So yeah, today I think we are going to be staying here for, you know, a few days to get our condition back. And I think the best spot to loot after this is going to be Signal Hill, wherever the hell that is in the darkness. It's very dark out, so it is a little bit difficult to see. Oh man, this might not be good <laughs> at all. I mean, it's not a blizzard. But man, I don't want to head out during this. So you know what? Instead of heading out towards Signal Hill right now, I'm going to go loot some of the cars nearby, and maybe we can find some small bits and baubles around the area. Going back inside to, you know, rewarm myself up. Let's see what we got in here, though. We might have some pretty cool trinkets. Like a scrawled message with a survival hint. Way up to the old dam seems open again. Better check it out soon. Whatever the heck that means. Oh, so there's a cave system in Pleasant Valley somewhere that I might be able to, you know, enter. Very cool. Trunk is inaccessible. That's fine. Let's go check out this barn over here now. Oh, and also the small patio here. There might be something within it. Within this small little shed, though, we picked up a car battery and spray paint. Overall, I have no idea if that's actually going to help me, but I will hoard it within my house. Man, there's not a lot of loot out here. But I think it is clearing up enough for me to actually go check out Signal Hill in a small while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't loot the silos, so I think we're going to head back in, and I'm going to go repair some of my clothing in preparation for us to move out soon. Alrighty, we've spent enough time indoors to warm up completely, and I think it's about time to move. I also went ahead and repaired my ski jacket to be in decent condition, so we are pretty damn warm. Matter of fact, our warmth bonus is at a nice and solid 12 degrees. So yeah, I think it's time to head out so long as there's no blizzards. I am taking uh, quite a little amount of supplies with me on my journey. We have basic firewood, a basic amount of food. I really want to save space for, you know, the bigger things, right? We do have a bunch of torches, but that's for personal protection. Outside, it's pretty damn cold, but I remember Signal Hill is in the way of that distant barn over there. So my plan right now is to follow the road down, hit up the barn, warm up there, and slowly warm our way around. I really want to avoid wolves and other predators on the way, because we only have like eight matches to go. Yeah, it's not looking good. So let's hustle down to the next location right over there. We'll warm up. And the sky's the limit after that. So let's not waste a lot of time and make a beeline straight for the barn. Go! 
Yes! Yes! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Yes! Thank you very much, little guy. Okay, that's huge. Hell yeah, man! I was not expecting to get a kill that easy. We also got some sticks around here. That rabbit, by the way, will keep me fed for a little while as well. On top of it, if we harvest both of the rabbits... Oh, there's another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we harvest both of the rabbits, we can get our hide required in order to make a wooden bow. Right, the only thing I need is a cured sapling after that point. So yeah, grabbing that is huge. Also... Boom! Headshot, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, little guy, but you're gonna feed me super duper well. Okay, nice! That's two rabbits down for the count. It sounds like the wolves are pretty pissed off. To be honest, I would be as well. I'm, I am stealing their happy meals. I am not going to take the rabbits with me on the journey up to Signal Hill, as I'm gonna leave it inside this barn here, and we will be back for it later. Oh, that is so huge. Matter of fact, if we kill like another two of those bad boys, we might be able to make some mittens or even better yet, a hat out of it. Oh man, times like that really makes me thankful I'm such a good shot. <laughs> I mean, that second shot, I just absolutely doinked him right in the head. I really don't see anything. Well, we can warm up in here, right inside this hay pile. Okay, nice. We're pretty much warmed up, and the weather is absolutely perfect out. That is only one minus chevron on our condition. So I think if I follow that mountainside around and up, I should be able to reach Signal Hill. Hopefully. There is a chance we come across a wolf on the way, but that's why we bring ourselves a torch. For now, we are cruising. I wish Interloper was like this all the time instead of like shoving 10 different blizzards down my throat. We're gonna pick up sticks along the way, but I do think it's gonna be up there. And of course, we're gonna be picking up sticks along the way. That is a very easy fuel source to use. I will let you know if I find anything cool, aside from, you know, generic wildlife and maybe a dead corpse here and there. Oh, that sounds like a wolf. Okay, I am not go- oh no, oh no, I just saw one, I just saw one. Let's haul, 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 hopefully you didn't see me. Please? Okay, I think we're good. I saw a wolf for a very, very brief second. I think we were able to circumvent him. I will remember where he's at in the future. That's not a good sign. We were, however, able to move right on across. Am I God? Please? I would have hit that if he didn't move, by the way. Dang it, dude! I was so close. Okay, that's fine. Let's forget about the rabbit. We've already gotten quite the haul of them, and honestly, picking them up right now would jeopardize my safety. All I want to do right now is just get up the hill over here. Hey, would you look at that, everyone? I spy with my little eye the top of a radio tower. On top of that, actually, there is a maple sapling here. If I find a hatchet, that would be huge, as that's one of the only components I really need to make a bow at this point. I mean, we have the rabbit carcasses, and that's really all we need. Of course, we do need to craft up arrows, but, you know, it's small upgrades. Did I just hear something? I swear I just heard, like, a little, like, a creak. No, I definitely hear something. Oh, am I curious enough to go check it out right now? I mean, I could bludgeon it with my rock. My single rock. Oh yeah, there's like pigeons here. Well, let's take aim and fire. Dang it, dude, I was like an inch off. Okay, whatever. You guys get to live. And here we are, everyone. Signal Hill. I'm still kind of beat up over the fact that I let those pigeons get away, but I think the more we try to kill animals with stones, the better we will get. Anyways, let me in. Right now, I need some good, good loot, and I also need to warm up. There's a break in the fence there. We can slip right on in. Oh, look at that. There's even some supplies on the outside here. Some cedar firewood, some wires, and I think that's going to be it over here. Yeah, unless you can open up this thing here. Oh, you can. Hold on. This is probably where I need to, you know, drop in the fuses, huh? I wonder what you get when you fix these up. Huh. 
I mean, at the very least, I did pick up those wires like a few seconds before that I'd be able to repair. Maybe I'll make this a small little pet project. I have no idea what you need for it, but it'd be very cool to see, you know, what happens on an Aurora. That's definitely a problem for later me, though. For now, it's time to search around this control hut, in which we have two fuses, a metal shelf with nothing inside of it, a car battery, Actually, looking around, we might be able to fix this thing right now. <laughs> you know what? Let, let's go throw this stuff in. Okay, cool. Everything is fixed up, aside from the metal parts in which I need five scrap metal. I'm very curious about that, actually. Maybe I'll find a hacksaw inside here, and we will be able to finish it off. Okay, now it's time to loot, though. What do we have? More wires, a sewing kit, some tomato soup, pinnacle peaches, herbal tea. Oh, that's actually huge. Some papers, some combat boots, and another heavy hammer. All right, all right, look at those bad boys. Damn, okay, that's actually pretty big because if we get mauled by a wolf, that will save my life. It's also 10 times better than the leather shoes we had before. Okay, is there anything else in here that's kind of cool? A flare. And finally, we have two lockers over here, in which we got a worn down vest and some accelerant. Dang. I was really hoping I would have found something a little bit cooler inside here, but I think the stuff we did find is pretty awesome regardless, especially the boots. You know, the boots are very, very nice. But now that we have everything here, we are gonna make the trek back to the barn. We know where to go, I just gotta retrace my steps. So let's wait in here for like 30 minutes by disassembling this worn down vest. Okay, yeah, let's head out. Right now we don't have the comfort of having, you know, a minus one chevron on our temperature. So we need to haul ourselves all the way back. Oh damn, nice uh, deer carcass there. If only I had a hacksaw. But yeah, we gotta we got haul, we gotta haul today. And so, I will see all of you guys in a bit. Ah, dang it, dude. That's gonna be a sprained wrist. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be able to deal with that for right now. Uh, we just need to head home. I really just didn't want to, you know, encounter the wolf over there. So, I took a risk. Ah, god dang it, dude. That's my other wrist. <laughs> oh, Okay, let's hurry it on up back home. Oh man, that sucks. What does that do? Uh, I'll hold weapons. Okay, that's fine. I don't have any weapons. I'm a defenseless little guy anyways. Dang it, dude. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> How do I sprain both of my wrists within 30 seconds? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I see the trees. We're almost back at the farmstead. I'll be able to sleep inside of the barn for a bit, and then it's off to the farmhouse. Let's head on inside fully, drop off our materials, and then, you know, we can work on ourselves for a bit. This is gonna be home base for at least like a few days while I get my condition up to max and I, you know, get even more supplies. And so we wake up on our third day survived. I'm gonna drink some water, and I'm gonna go leave our rabbit meat outside. We got it all curing up though, and our condition is looking pretty damn good, everyone. I might need to spend the rest of the day here, but we have a whole bunch of activities to do, so I will never have a dull moment around here. It's actually so cool to see all of my supplies here, though I won't be able to stay here forever, but that's gonna have to wait for probably one week of me staying here. Anyways, let's go head out into the little awning and let's go drop off our meat so it doesn't go bad, right? We can freeze it outside because going outside is quite literally going into the biggest walk-in freezer of our life. Drop that off, drop that off, and drop that off. How actually cold is it right now? Um, it's minus three chevrons. It could honestly be worse. I don't know where I'm going to be going next time. 
but I think we're gonna try to head over towards the town, and then as soon as we loot the town, get everything there, I'll head back, drop off our resources, and then head off on the big journey ahead. If I recall correctly, though, the house should be down over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the direction I need to actually head towards if I want to reach town. There are some cattails down here, if I see. No, it's all unharvestable. But you know what? There is a small little barn down over here. So why don't we, for the last action of this episode, go and loot that really, really quickly. Huh, you know what? I know I said I was gonna spend the rest of the day inside of that little awning. I think I would rather much instead just commit and double down, loot the barn, and then next episode, we can reach the city. Is that a wolf in the distance? Oh, it is. But yeah, I have about 17 kilos of weight, so we have, you know, about 14 to grab some materials. We could get some stuff then, and, you know, we could make a lot more use of our trip because we've already reached this place. So long as the wolves don't get a whiff of me, of course. I'm gonna head inside very, very quickly now. Bada bingo. Inside this big old barn, though, we have a note which has... A description over farming. Not very helpful for me. There's not a lot of farming to do in this mod. Aside from that, though, we have Stay on Target, which is pretty good, actually. That improves my archery by quite a bit. And in five seconds, that book guide we found just became absolutely not the appeal. That right there is an extra box of 12 matches, which is going to save my life. Oh my lord, I am so happy to see you. On top of that, we have an emergency stim, which could actually save my life. If I had that the last uh, time we were in Ashland Canyon, I would have survived. Oh, dude, visiting this barn, best decision of my damn life. In the lockers, we have nothing. That's okay, though. What else do we got inside of this beautiful, beautiful place? A random generic book. Another replacement fuse. Cured guts right off the bat. Wow, you learn something new every day. I didn't even know you could grab those and use those technically. All right, damn. We got a granola bar as well. A whetstone, which I can use to repair my future hatchet. A very sneaky can of dog food. And I think that's it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Anyways, I am going to end the episode here. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you next time. Peace out, everyone.